Hi, community. My name is Tatiana Iskovska, and I'm welcoming you in Inside Zephyr, the online community event where we are talking about Zephyr tools and meet with the Smart Bear team. And today we, have, we will talk about Zephyr Squad and specifically about the testing process that uh, we are doing around this tool. But before we start, let me uh, remind all of you that uh, Zephyr Squad, previously known as Zephyr for Jira, and this is a powerful and easy to use test management solution for Jira. And uh, today uh, we have invited a special guest from our QA team, uh, Jagadesh Mathura, QA lead here at Smart Bear. So, hi Jagadesh, how are you today? Hi, I'm good. So how are you? Good. I'm good. I'm good. Thank you. And uh, thanks for joining uh, this interview and thanks for your willingness to talk with the Zephyr Squad community. Uh, let's start with a short introduction uh, to the community. Could you please share where you're from and uh, how did it happen that you choose the career in the uh, software uh, testing? Yeah. So, hi, community members. So, I'm Jagrish here. So, I was working as a QA lead in uh, Smart Bear for Zephyr Squad product. So, previously, I have worked in different companies like uh, Wipro. There, I have worked as a support engineer. And then, I started my career in Zephyr like five years back. And then, uh, I started as a QA engineer. And then, after that, I have been promoted as a QA lead. And then, um, I was... Uh, experienced with both Zephyr Enterprise product as well as the Zephyr Squad product. So, yeah, that's it. Okay, so I didn't know that you are working for two products, Zephyr Squad and Zephyr Enterprise. Uh, yeah. I suppose that uh, we already have another interview uh, about Zephyr, about details of testing uh, Zephyr Enterprise. So please, community, watch the watch this video also. But uh, once uh, in this video, let's talk about Zephyr Squad. Uh, and uh, could you please share and tell us more about what specifically do you do for Smart Bear? What is your working process look like? So basically in Zephyr Squad, um, I was uh, handling all the release uh, things like uh, starting from the story design. I was involved with, uh, involved with the product owners and then uh, I have involved with the developers like uh, how they are developing and then the main part is the testing things. And then I used to manage all the testing activities in the Zephyr Squad and starting from the stage of uh, story design to the uh, production deployment, everything I used to handle it. And in case if uh, some customers uh, used to complain about the product and if it is getting escalated, then I used to uh, uh, manage and then solve their issues as well. And uh, other than this, I used to participate in some community events as well as in Atlassian events as well. Okay, great. Uh, so, and uh, sounds like you enjoy that you are doing, right? Yes. <laughs> And uh, what do you enjoy to do the most? I mean, what is the most rewarding part of your day-to-day -day work? So, uh, if you ask me, like, I can say the quality. So, quality is uh, very important uh, for every customer. Uh, without, if we are giving good pro product to the customers, they will be happy and then uh, it will make easy uh, their work life. So, so this is the main, like I used to focus on the quality and then make sure that we are releasing the quality products to the customers. Okay, so great. It, it, it means just trying to understand, will it mean that uh, if, we, if, we, if, if we need to have uh, the more, uh, the more uh, qualified tool, right? So yes. will it mean that uh, internally in QA, do we need to have more issues found or it doesn't connect it? So basically, like uh, the issues, whatever we got, so we are also using our product and then we are also like uh, uh, first customer to our product. So we know the pain of the customers and then, uh, you know, uh, we used to uh, talk with developers and then get it fixed and then uh, we will make sure and ensure that uh, we are not releasing uh, bugs to the customers. So, sure. yeah. Sure, sure. And uh, could you please explain or maybe share more details about which testing approaches uh, do you use? How many kind of tests uh, do you use? 
so basically we used to do both manual testing as well as the automation testing and uh, we used to do like uh, different kinds of environments like in the qa environment we used to qualify the builds and once the qa environment is qualified then we'll be moving to the uh, pre prod environment there again we'll be doing the testing and then finally we'll be moving to the production there uh, we'll be uh, deploying the builds in the production and then we'll be doing the online testing as well so basically when it comes to the manual testing uh, we use our zira plus zephyr product where we write our test cases everything and then we used to maintain all our testing uh, activities inside the zephyr test management tool okay great and uh, zephyr test management is this something that uh, you implemented internally yes so we use our uh, zephyr squad so like the last one year back uh, we are using zephyr enterprise and then uh, since uh, we need to know the pain of the customers we have moved from zephyr enterprise to the zephyr squad and then uh, we are using our product for our all our testing activities great so, yeah okay yeah i i like that uh, you are using our products in order to test our products <laughs> yes yes it's like bo bo t testing from several sites. It's it's a great one. Uh, so also before we started the recording, you mentioned that uh, you are using Zephyr Squad uh, for something internally, uh, for some of your internal needs uh, to uh, uh, cover some needs. So could you please share more details about this one? I think so, that will be interesting. Yeah, yeah, it's great to know. So basically, whenever uh, we have some new kind of requirements, so uh, we used to maintain the, in the Zira itself, where uh, we have uh, integrated with the Cucumber, so where we have given when and then uh, kind of scenarios. So where we'll maintain all the user stories, and then we used to write our test cases uh, in the Zira itself, like uh, uh, we will write the scenarios and then test cases. So once those all things is written and then we we are going to review the test cases uh, where we are using the jira workflow again and then once the test case is reviewed and then uh, we used to maintain the like we if we have more test cases we used to maintain our test case in the excel sheet and then we are going to import into our product using our uh, zephyr internal importer so once all mm -hmm. the test cases is imported then uh, we have a plan like uh, uh, we, we used to do multiple iterations during the QA environment and the pre-prod environment. So where we have uh, maintained our uh, detailed test plan in the cycle summary page and then uh, like uh, we used to assign the test cases to different kinds of testers where they used to execute the test cases basically. So along with this, these are like a manual kind of testing. So what we are doing. So along with that, we use our uh, test automation as well. So where uh, mm -hmm. we have integrated our uh, uh, UI Selenium automation with the Cucumber framework, like uh, what we have uh, CI CD process. So uh, other than that, we have the API testing. So again, we are using our uh, own tool like Ready API. So earlier it was uh, Sophia and now, right now it is the Ready API. So we, we use our own tools. Um, um, then um, uh, along with that, uh, like uh, we used to do performance kind of testing. So where uh, again, we we have used like JMeter open source tool and then Load UI Pro. So again, which is like the smart bear product. So all those things, uh, if you see the total uh, testing activities, we are using our products and you know, uh, we are uh, uh, very much familiar with our products and we are uh, making, giving the uh, quality product to the customers. So if we are using our own product, we know the pain of the customers and then we are solving and then we are fixing and then customers will be happy. So. Yeah, this was the entire uh, flow. Okay, so great. And uh, I suppose you are like one of the uh, teams that are using so many smart bear products. Uh, so Cucumber, yeah. Ready API. So do you use Test Complete? Did I miss it? No? So uh, when we are in Zephyr Enterprise, we used to do that. But right now, uh, we have already existing scripts with the Selenium okay. automation. So we have already integrated that. So. Uh, we have not used that uh, test template right now. Okay, I see. So yeah, any, anyway, it's uh, so many tools, but uh, it's a great example of how uh, different smart bear products can be used uh, for one uh, purpose, right? To improve the quality of the tool that uh, we are developing. So that's a great one. So, and uh, thanks for sharing this information. I'm sure that that was extremely helpful for our customers and uh, our customers now know more about uh, what is happening inside the testing process of uh, Zephyr Squad.
So thank you, Jagadesh, for this uh, interview. Thank you so much. Thank you.